Capacity, improving technology, strategies developed by the Ministry of National Security to strengthen the security forces capabilities in 2020. But if we are going to hold the police accountable, we must in fact equip them effectively and no more than we. And so said, so done. In 2020, the response and mobility of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, was greatly enhanced with 107 new pickup trucks valued at approximately $700 million. These vehicles are equipped with tracking systems that will allow for greater visibility of the deployment of these assets, as well as greater accountability and fleet management. Another 43 retrofitted compact sports utility vehicles valued at approximately $270 million were assigned to various police stations. This is part of the project Rebuild, Overhaul and Construct Rock. It is imperative that securing our maritime space is enhanced as a key feature of our national security architecture. And so in July, a Damon patrol vessel was commissioned into service. In addition to the mobility, we have a whole new formation devoted to technology. This includes the build-out of the 119 Police Emergency Control Center to monitor up to 2,000 closed-circuit television cameras. To improve efficiency, okay, you can get real-time monitoring. It also improves evidence you gather, because when you get that evidence this way, you get a greater cooperation from witnesses. Furthering that effort, servers for the Jamaica Eye Surveillance System were expanded to accommodate 1,000 additional video feeds. More support came by way of a MOU with the Jamaica Gasoline Retailers Association. This allows the police to access feed from public-facing cameras at gas stations. Very significant state development of the Jamaica Eye program, a very critical part of the surveillance activity of our police force. The microwave data network was also updated to improve connectivity among police stations. The JCF's computer-aided dispatch system was also upgraded and expanded and officers were equipped with 100 smart Android devices and portable printers to issue electronic traffic tickets. This was part of the $40 million upgrade of the traffic ticket management system. To further strengthen capacity, 589 new constables joined the force and 1,647 Jamaican National Service Corps members received certification. In addition, 25 JDF members were trained to use the unmanned aerial systems drone. 66 officers and instructors of the Jamaica Combined Cadet Force were trained in competency-based education, while a MOU was signed with Excelsior Community College to provide a bachelor's degree course for staff of the ministry. The Ministry of National Security placed a major focus on renovating or constructing new police stations, barracks and training facilities last year. Ground was broken for police stations in Green Acres, Port Maria and Mount Salem. Renovation was carried out on other stations, while the $91.8 million Port Antonio Divisional Headquarters was completed and commissioned. Over in St. Elizabeth, the Tranquility Bay Training Camp was refurbished at a cost of $139 million. $500 million was used to retrofit the JCF's Specialized Operations Branch at Harmon Barracks. This government is committed to improving the working conditions of the police force and to providing the police with adequate resources to fight the criminal network. Another $500 million was spent on the multi-purpose building for the Jamaica National Service Corps at Up Park Camp, and the renovated Cannonball Gate to the JDF property was opened in July. The Ministry of National Security maintained a firm grip on crime in 2020, resulting in reductions in most major crimes. Under the Get the Guns campaign, approximately 583 assorted illegal firearms were seized. Meanwhile, gangs were dismantled and convictions secured for major facilitators of crime and their conspirators. The Ministry of National Security suspended all states of public emergency in August and imposed the new zones of special operations in the Greenwich Town and August Town communities while continuing existing ones in Mount Salem and Denham Town. 
social intervention continued under the Live Good Initiative, as well as the Citizen Security and Justice Program, CSJP. The JCF has to be a force for good. And so everything we do has to be to the betterment of the people we serve. The police plays a primary role in the area of violence and crime and a very strong supportive role in fighting the COVID disease. When COVID-19 reached our shores in March, the security forces responded quickly to help contain its spread. Officers maintained law and order during nightly curfews and enforced quarantine measures in affected communities. Protective gears and other items were donated to ensure their safety. The need for protective gear for both the community members as well as the workers who have been involved is very significant. Measures were also put in place at correctional facilities to protect staff, wards and inmates. Senator Matthew Samuda was given oversight responsibility for the Department of Correctional Services, DCS, following former Minister of State Rodney Spencer's resignation from representational politics in February. Before leaving, Mr. Spencer secured full scholarships for inmates and officers to access degree programs. The agreement was signed with the University of the Commonwealth Caribbean, UCC, and Stand Up for Jamaica. Following the path, Minister Samuda signed a MOU facilitating the placement of ex-wards and ex-inmates in entrepreneurial programs offered by the Heart NSTA Trust. Wards will also transition from correctional facilities into the whole program after their release from state care, while officers will be trained to provide certified courses. Meanwhile, a new multipurpose classroom was constructed at the South Camp Juvenile Remand and Correctional Center. You will see continued efforts and continued steps in this direction as we improve our rehabilitation efforts. Through continued partnership, the ministry was able to secure a multifunctional tractor for farming purposes and constructed two broiler units to make the institutions self-sufficient in food production. It should communicate to the country that there are some steps that we're taking. We're bringing down the cost of operation in very tight economic times. Dr. Horace Chang was reappointed as head of the Ministry of National Security following the September general elections. He will continue to drive policies, programs and legislation to build out a strong, effective and efficient combined security forces. That is the commitment of this government to the people of Jamaica.